Hey guys, it's Sneaker Talk here, and today I'm gonna show you how hype beast I really am. Look at this Supreme hey, necklace. Hey, yo, what are you doing here? This go, Supreme go, necklace is get out worth here, my life. Beast. Get out. So sorry you guys had to see that. I I should just like give you back 20 seconds of your life right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here, back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new video. And in honor of Friday the 13th, I wanted to share with you guys some pretty scary stuff. Before I show you guys the main point of today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the stupid comments I get on a regular basis. And I will show you some of the comments I got in yesterday's video. First lovely and supportive comment comes in from Jamie Nicolau, and it says, you have shit shoes, you're a flop cunt. Man, <laughs> I love you too, Jamie. Have an awesome weekend. The next comment comes in from Chase Perez. It is, you only have gay shoes, get Jordan. Apparently, I only wear gay shoes. I didn't know. Like, I've, I've had my shoes in the closet the entire time, so I've never really taken them out. Manuel Real says, fake ass iPhone 6. Why would I buy a fake iPhone 6? Andres Jimenez says, Fuck you, Christian. Give my friend at Crispy My Dude a shout out. Well played. But why would you start off the sentence saying, Fuck you, Christian? Bruh. What did I do to you, bro? And Quentin Riviera says, In response to me wearing my collar clothing denim with my new Y3 Casas, Those shoes do not go with those pants. I must have said something like, they do, they fit perfectly with these pants. And then he said, Sneaker Talk, wow, you must have an awful sense of fashion because they clearly do not. Apparently they don't. I mean, apparently you are the fashion authority on the internet, my bad. Quentin, you're probably the type of guy who wears Yeezys like this. Man, oh man, I get so many stupid comments a day and I get a, a lot of amazing supportive comments as well, but some of these negative ones just crack me up and they offer excellent entertainment. I have a lot more I've saved up on my computer, so I'll make some more videos like this uh, down the road. But now, let's get to what you guys are here for, the amazing NMDs. So last night I was on Facebook and Ronan Brazier, I think is his name, sorry if I butchered your name, man. He posted a picture or a few pictures of some customs he had done. He got them done on a white pair of of NMDs, the mesh colorway, the ones right here on screen, and Ronan is asking for a price verification to figure out how much money you should pay the customizer. Ronan writes, got these done, they were originally white with black blocks, were not DS to start off, but still no flaws with them on material beforehand. Were supposed to be burgundy, but did not come out that way. Just need honest opinions on this guys for how much I should pay or anything else to do, would really appreciate your help. And dude, Oh, rest in peace, white Adidas NMDs. Here is a picture of the customs themselves, and oh my god, these are ugly. I don't even know. I think anything that could have gone wrong for this custom NMD went wrong. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the quality and craftsmanship and time that went into these sneakers. Let's take a look at the back Lego block. Look at the way the paint just drips down onto the block. It looks like they really intentionally tried not to use any tape to stop paint from running down the sneaker. These sneakers are so messed up, I don't even think you would want these if you're homeless. These were supposed to be burgundy, but if you look here, it looks like these are a black and gold OVO custom. And just look at the inside of the sneaker, the sock liner, it looks like you had a period and I don't even know, dude, that just looks, that looks fucked up. And don't even get me started on the tongue. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened here? I don't even think bleach or whiteout would clean these. Anyways guys, I I suck at roasting sneakers because that's not really my thing, uh, but if you are good at roasting sneakers, roast this custom in the comments down below. I'll have a montage or a slideshow of these enemies come up on screen so you guys can, can get some inspiration for the roast. And I'll pick my five favorite comments and feature them in an upcoming video.
Now this sneaker right here was supposed to be the custom inspiration for this sneaker, but honestly, I don't see the resemblance at all. Maybe the only thing they have in common is that they're sneakers. Now on the actual Facebook post itself, there are a few pretty funny comments, so I wanna read them to you guys. Gavin Chan says, I wouldn't pay a dime. Would you pay a mechanic who set your car on fire for doing a tire change? Sky Mark says, if he should buy you a replacement pair of NMBs, I'd probably give them a minus seven out of 10 rating at best. This is ridiculous and I know the person who did this. Henny Ramzan says, unless you specifically ask for the severely limited Dookie Brown colorway, I'd say you should be compensated. Now, if you guys have ever gone paintballing before, I went paintballing for my birthday like two years ago, you know not to wear nice sneakers because the sneakers you wear or whatever footwear you wear to paintballing is gonna get messed up and dirty and you really end up getting your sneakers so irreversibly dirty that it's hard to clean. And the NMDs I just showed you guys right here are a perfect example of what your all white shoes would look like if you went paintballing in your NMDs. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If this video hurt your soul just by looking at those NMDs, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. And also comment if you've ever had a customization experience gone wrong. I would love to hear your stories. But anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.